Hi, my Razor Light, and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly energy report from uh, for the week this week of July 15th through the 21st, 2019. Um, so, so most of you that are tuning in may already know that the full moon enters on the 16th, which is Tuesday. Um, a lot of you are feeling that energy as we speak now. It's going to be very interesting how this week plays out. There's a lot of different energies that are intertwined and mixed with the energy of the full moon. First of all, don't forget to leave your crystals out in the moonlight to recharge if you can. Um, also, this would be a good time to do any kind of candle magic. Um, specifically for healing during the full moon is a very, very good. Um, and not only healing, but you could also do some to manifest money, manifest abundance right now. So these are going to be good techniques to to implement during the full moon or tools to utilize uh, during the full moon. Um, you may want to work with a green candle, add some some cinnamon in there, some uh, magnetic gold dust or magnetic sand around it. Um, you could also add some some herbs like, you know, thyme, rosemary, uh, bay leaves all around the outside of the candle. And then you could also uh, put some garlic cloves around just to, you know, kind of amplify that energy. Um, and then just write a petition on a sheet of paper specifically with your intentions of what you're wanting to manifest be very clear this is something that you can do during the full moon and it's going to help you in many ways a lot of you right now are working very hard um some of you that are more of a home home mom or a homemaker you like a stay-at-home mom a lot of you are going to be very busy in your creative projects but there's something that is bothering some of you, not all of you out there. A lot of the feminine energies out there uh, are being very disturbed. This could be some energy that you're holding on to from the, the previous week. There's something that is, is kind of like chipping away at you and you're not fully happy about it. You want to get some clarity on that. So a lot of you may be noticing that your sleeping patterns are shifting this week as well. You could be noticing um, right now that a lot of you are kind of more awake during the nighttime or more nocturnal than, you know, being more alert during the daytime. And again, that may not apply to every single person listening to this, but that's kind of the energy that's coming in. Um, it looks like, you know, during the evening hours, a lot of you this week are going to get downloads of information from the universe. You're going to start kind of understanding a little bit more where you are on your journey right now. And in that speaks very highly so those of you that are in committed relationships um, with a masculine energy a lot of you are going to be feeling very balanced and feeling very loved by your masculine energy or divine masculine that is in your life if this again applies to you if you don't have someone like that in your life you know this is a good week to kind of you know start manifesting and, and start thinking about you know, what is it that you can change in your waking life right now to attract that love into your life? Um, a lot of you are feeling very generous and you may be giving a lot of yourself to other people uh, and doing more than what you need to be doing. So there's a little caution here with this. Spirit wants you to kind of not give too much of yourself uh, to the point where you're exhausted because it feels like everybody is expecting something for you. And if you're willingly doing that without setting any boundaries, you're going to burn yourself out. So be sure to to do that. Um, there is some kind of, you know, energy right now where a specific male or like I said, the, the divine masculine in your life, it doesn't have to be that because if it's a same sex couple, like two women, it would be the one that is more dominant or the one that is more masculine energy in the relationship or vice versa, even with two men or, you know, um, you know, a man or a woman, a man and a woman, whoever is the most, um, that carries the most divine masculine energy or that masculinity, um, because we all carry a feminine, a f you know, a divine feminine and masculine portions to our soul, a duality. But I see the one that this week, uh, in the relationships that has the divine masculine energy being very creative and also looking to what he can or what he or she can uh, kind of build. It's almost like they want to 
they have the power and they have the magic and they're ready for it so they're like laying the foundation around them they're, they're making plans some of you may be looking to start a new job or looking to change your careers entirely and so this week is there's a lot of validation around that receiving that um, some of you as well this week are going to be getting psychic readings. This could be you reaching out to your own personal psychic um, or a healer or a Reiki master or even tuning into your own psychic abilities and maybe throwing down a couple of, you know, tarot cards or oracle cards um, or using a pendulum, you know, using some form of divination to kind of get some clarity. Like I said, there's a lot of great area here for some of you with certain people in your life where you don't really know where you stand it's almost like there's a fog and and it's kind of blurry um and a lot of you are going to be feeling unsettled because a lot of you don't want to be with that well what if you know this happens or that happens a lot of you want that you know that um just that clarity uh and that closure a lot of you are seeking closure a lot of you this week as well i'm seeing a lot of divine feminines out there that are wanting to kind of heal um certain areas of their life so if they've had a fallout with someone uh this could be very much you being the bigger person this week and having that conversation for closure and giving that person peace especially if you were the one that initiated a lot of the you know the reason or contributed to the reason that that relationship or friendship closed off uh and ended but this moon is going to be bringing a lot of intense activity there could be some more earthquakes this week around the world um specifically you know the usa we could be seeing something very intense this week um i also feel like with the tropical storms and the gulf coast um we could def definitely see another hurricane forming um so we are seeing a lot of intense nat um mother nature a lot of intense heat waves here in the south part of the u.s um some of you in the western part may also be feeling that as well um this is going to be a week also where it's just kind of lighthearted. a lot of you going into the weekend may start feeling like you need to kind of celebrate or continue a celebration of some sort or throw an impromptu party just to kind of you know especially if you haven't like really hung out with your friends in quite some time you know there could be this pooling that you need to have just let your hair down and have fun um this is something that a lot of people don't tend to do because again we make so many excuses or you know during your days off you don't want to be around anyone and sometimes that's not what you need you need to have people around you to make you laugh remember good times uh and have a good support system there's nothing wrong with that but if you are someone that's very introverted and doesn't want to do that then you can find other ways about you know going about this this could be you going to the movie theater um and seeing a show uh going to a music event going out shopping you know being around people in a mall and that brings me to something else that just very sporadic is like i saw recently today you know that a barn i think it's barney's in new york is closing down um or filing for bankruptcy i don't remember what what it was but i feel like a lot of people now that we shop mainly online a lot of retailers are you know um especially if you have retailers you know locally to you that are pretty good stores um you know a lot of you should go in and support those stores and because again once you know you can't try everything like you can't try clothes on online and it's a big hassle if you're shopping for clothing and that size doesn't fit you and you have to return it um versus going in you know i feel like stores need to always be around even though it's being it seems like stores are being replaced by um <laughs> robots you know by machines and um by online but um a lot of you may find comfort in that as well um you know by the weekend there is well i would say by thursday really this week some of you will be kind of facing some purging some of you may start crying being very emotional this is because the energy of this week with the full moon is very intense like i said there's good things there's a lot of happy moments there's a lot of epiphanies there's a lot of positive things but at the same time it feels like you're being bombarded with a lot of memories uh it could be a song that you remembered of your your past loved one and it triggers something in you causes you to have a breakdown in front of other people or by yourself um but you know 
there's a lot of focus that you're not alone on this. So you're going to have a lot of people helping you through this so that you don't feel like, you know, you're just alone because you're not truly alone. Um, and it's almost like later in the week, also, you may hear something about someone maybe who did you wrong now facing their own karma. And, you know, the universe has a weird way of, you know, showing or bringing that person back into your space or into your life to give you a revelation of some sort. So um, know that you are going, you know, you're flowing going with the flow a lot of you this week some of you may be going against the current and there could be some resistance uh connecting you know to the universe etc so this week is going to be all over the place some of you are going to be happy some of you will not be happy some of you will need to utilize tools to kind of get to that place that you need to be and um recenter yourself and refocus so that's the energy report for this week i want to thank you all for tuning in if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up also be sure to follow me on facebook and instagram and if you'd like to set up a private psychic reading with me you can book one at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop blessings and love and light have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world